What's up, fellers? So, uh, got some <laughs> porcelain tile set up here and these diamond bits that you're all familiar with. Um, I saw a video a while back, I think I may have posted it, of a guy who um, resharpens diamond blades for tile saws. They don't really resharpen them. Uh, it's called dressing the blade where they run them through a cutting stone. Um, and it basically the, the blades get glazed over from all the tile and the heat and whatever, even though they're water cooled, there's still a lot of heat involved. And uh, they get glazed over with, with whatever the ceramic material is in the tile. So the guy used a cutting stone and he ran the blade back and forth over the cutting stone about 20 times. It cleaned up the blade and it cut good, good as new. So it got me thinking and I saw, I, I, I looked online about it and, and saw a video of this guy in um, UK who was doing the same thing with uh, uh, core bits, diamond core bits. And um, I don't know what the difference is between a diamond hole saw and a core bit, but um, maybe the core bits are just bigger. Anyway, he was using a brick to do it. Uh, I don't have a brick. But what I do have are these sharpening stones, and that's something like 60 grit or whatever. And I had quite a few of these. I was skeptical, but I had a, quite a few of these bits that were glazed over like that. And I did, I think I did these, all the red ones. <laughs> the Milwaukee's were all glazed over. Um, I think I did this one too. So I just took them on the stone and you run it. You run it in reverse. You do that for a few seconds. I don't know, 20 seconds, something like that. And it gets, you know, you're gonna have all that residue from the, from the sharpening stone on there. Um, but, lo and behold, this bit was hardly cutting. I ran it through here, the stone, about 20 seconds, forward, reverse. And then I cut this hole in no time at all. So uh, I was skeptical, but it works. So try that instead of going and spending another 30 bucks in bits. Next time you're putting up grab bars or something. Um, I haven't tried them on these yet because these aren't really glazed over. These haven't glazed over, um, but I, I'm sure gonna try it. I mean, I did I did one just for the heck of it, but it, it wasn't really glazed over, it didn't need it. But keep that in mind, it's a good tip, hidden somewhere on the internet. And I know I know there's probably some tile guys in there, in the group right now going, well, duh, we need that all along. But you didn't tell us, did you? <laughs> Have a good one.